Hello, this is a special news break. My name is Bill Cameron. I'm in a different country today, the country of Ohio. They think they're part of the United States. Here is the top story. Russian TV is showing what the Russians consider to be part of their property, part of their country in the Ukraine. There are two states there that have joined allegiance with Russia. Russia now has its mercenary army in the country of Ukraine, and Russia is also placing troops all around the border that borders with Ukraine. They have 190,000 Russian troops stationed there. I had mentioned this a few weeks ago that this was going to take place based on what we read in Ezekiel chapter 37 and 38. It appears to be happening now. Uh, the Russian diplomats have evacuated Russia's um, embassy that's located in Kiev and are now out of the country. Uh, later on, they were discussing with Israel and their position with the Ukraine and also with Syria. Russia has been friendly with Israel up until this time. Israel has had the blessing of Russia to protect themselves against the Iranian proxies operating out of Syria. Just yesterday, Russia told Israel, do not bomb or attack any of those proxies anymore. With that, Israel did bomb some sites that have weaponry in Damascus. Another prophecy that we read about in the book of Isaiah is that the city of Damascus will be brought to ruins. The significance of this is that Damascus is one of the oldest, if not the oldest city on the face of the earth that has never been destroyed. It is still in its same location it started in and to this day it is thriving. However, with the events that are taking place at this time, that looks like it could be coming to an end. There's no guarantee in the Bible that this will happen before or after or during the tribulation, but it will happen. And if you see this happen, understand that you need to make a decision for Jesus Christ. There's more. Russia just took their flag down from the embassy in Kiev after they had their ambassadors leave the country. Um, right now, also, there's a massive cyber attack going on in the country of Ukraine that is believed to be by Russia. The West believes, meaning Europe and the United States, that within 48 hours, the Putin government of Russia will launch a major and massive attack on the country of Ukraine. While they have said there are just two states that they are defending, this is believed to be false and that Putin intends to take the entire country of Ukraine. We need to be watching this and think about the state of Israel while you see all this go on. The Bible tells us to pray for the peace of Israel. Now, the other thing that's taking place as Russia is invading Ukraine and giving orders to Israel to not attack anything in Syria, Iran is looking at this as a distraction made just for them. Iran is trying to come up with a way to undermine everything that is going on in Israel and letting this take the attention off themselves to prepare for another attack on the state of Israel itself. When you read in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38 and 39, you will see all of these countries surrounding Israel are part of a battle that God is going to draw Russia, Turkey, um, Iran, and the surrounding countries in northern Africa around Israel to come and attack them at the same time. It will be the largest attack ever made in the history of the world, and it is sure to happen. We just don't know exactly when. There's never been a time. 
when all of these nations wanted to wipe Israel off the face of the earth at the same time. Iran has been supplying weaponry to Lebanon, down at the Gaza Strip, to Hezbollah, to Syria, and some of the surrounding African countries. One thing to take into consideration, while we pray for the peace of Israel, do not worry about the fate of Israel, because when these countries come to conquer the state of Israel, God will protect Israel and conquer them. This is all foretold in the Bible. Now in the coming days, probably tomorrow, uh, the state of emergency in Ukraine will officially begin, even though there are already troops entering into their country. Uh, Belarus's border will also be closed on March 1st. Now, about Belarus. Belarus is a small country and they welcome Russia taking them over and becoming a part of their former homeland. So they're embracing this while Ukraine is fighting this. So we have a lot to uh, watch for as we are uh, seeing what God is going to do. I want to read a Bible verse to you quickly. It says, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So we put our faith in God. He is our strength. He is our strong tower, as the Bible calls it. So please be praying for Israel. Be praying for the world. And be praying that when God intervenes in this, many people will come to know him. This is Bill Cameron signing off from Austinburg, Ohio.